Something special is happening today. Mommy's gonna have the baby today. Mm -hmm. And toy. Yeah, so I have a little something for you guys so that way you don't miss me and Daddy while we're at the hospital, okay? So this is a little snuggle bear. Okay, so when you miss us, you can think of us. And then I got you a little panda. Because you guys are going to be big sisters. What are you guys focused on right now? Daddy, well, I'm trying to distract them a little bit. That's it. So look. Look, I love, we're going to go to the hospital right now. I love you, Mommy. And we're going to have the baby. <laughs> so good. I wish this had smell o vision Okay? I'm crying because I'm happy. You guys are going to be big sisters. Okay, Daisy? You guys excited? Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. You got a baby brother. May I? Yeah, he's coming right now. Luca! <laughs> I have to go to the hospital go to the doctor so they can get him out of my belly. Yay. Yeah, I'm going to push him out. Yeah, I'm going to push him out. Like, ah, get out. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm gonna let her do, push it. Daisy, you're gonna be a big sister too, okay? But I'm gonna let her push it. You're a dog. I'm gonna let her push it. Oh, um, it, it hurts, but I'll be okay. You're gonna be a good girl. Cause you're gonna be a big sister. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna miss you. Miss it. So good. Okay. I love you so much. Huh? You stole my love, what is it I'm that here. you do? Oh! I have no idea what I'm here. Oh. 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 Yeah, Love you so much. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. Gonna be a dad of a boy. What's happening? I'm on the way to the hospital because I'm pretty sure I'm in labor. I've been leaking water like all day. Um, I didn't really think anything of it because it's never happened to me before. Whenever my water has broke, it's been like a full gush. So I called the doctor like maybe two hours ago while I was in the pickup line with picking up Ella and they told me to get to the hospital soon. Um, but obviously I had to get her from school and everything. So tell me. It wasn't like the contractions have been not super consistent. They're starting to pick up now. Like they hurt, and my timer went off saying like, yeah, you should go go to the hospital. But pretty much all day, like it would happen like every half hour, every 15 minutes, every hour. Um. So we just said bye to the kids. It's weird because it's four o'clock. My mucus plug broke. My, I lost a mucus plug at like 3:30 in the morning. And then around like eight, I was at Target and I kept like leaking water. And um, we went to, I had to get a COVID test because I'm supposed to be induced on Thursday. And I was still leaking water and I've just been like leaking water all day. So now that there's contractions and everything, they told me that we should go to the hospital and get checked out. And she's pretty confident that they're gonna admit me. So we said bye to the kids and it was really sad, but they're doing okay. I gave them some toys to keep their mind off of it. and. Can't have enough epidural, so here we go, I guess. I'm nervous. It's about to get messy. I'm really nervous. It's been such a gross day. Like, I've changed my underwear like so many times. I've gone through like More maybe four pads and I'm just soaking them with water. So I'm, oh, the sun. I'm really curious to see how far I dilated I am. Like, if I, I mean, I was one and a half yesterday at my appointment, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, we'll take you guys along. It's gonna get pretty intense, probably pretty soon here. It's pretty calm right now. It's pretty calm, but we, it picks up. So, my face is all like red. I'm just really nervous right now. And it's weird like going to labor during the day because with Lila, I was like in the middle of the night and it just seemed like more crazy when that happened. And with Ella, it was different like during the day too, but I didn't really know I was in labor, so. Anyway, anything you want to say before we get to the hospital? Got my birthing ball. <sighs> Got the birthing ball. Ready to do this. So. Yep. Third time's a charm. Let's hope. I hope it's fast. 
I'm, I'm happy that he decided to come on his own and not be induced though. Yeah. We're, we're almost there. triage so we'll see what they say hopefully I mean obviously I'm in labor but hopefully it's far ish I'd like for this to be fast yeah this is not where you labor it's just, the, just been a while for years this is your work it's your dad's work. <laughs> All the things. Oh. oh, man. So how you doing? Good water is literally like dripping out right now. Can you see it? Wow. Yeah. I wish this thing had smell o vision. <laughs> Cool. It's literally been doing this all day. It's so freaking gross. So they're gonna check, put me out in the monitors, check to see if I'm dilated. And we'll go from there. It's my cute outfit. <sighs> yeah, you got this, girl. This maybe even started. It hasn't even begun. So how fast is your heart right now? 130 something. <laughs> I'm nervous. I feel like I'm, I don't think I'm shaking, but I feel like I'm shaking. I'm almost shaking a little bit myself, so you, yeah. you must be. Well, I didn't really eat today because I didn't, I couldn't. I was so like anxious. And then my mom made me a peanut butter jelly sandwich, so I ate that, but I'm hot too, which is nice. I brought that fan. You're going to have to yeah. turn on me. Is it like hot in here? Is it just me? Yeah. They, once you get in your own room, they can adjust it. Um, <coughs> It's typically nice. cold, yeah. So they're gonna right. check my cervix. And Not me. Okay. And uh, make sure it was my water. And make sure you're not hypoxic because of your tachycardia. Just I mean, I I really can't feel it, but I I yeah. I'm just nervous. And pain increases your heart rate. So. Oh yeah, and oh. blood pressure. It just feels so calm. Yeah. It's weird. Like I don't know. Like I'm like, am I? Do I have an epidural right now? Like it just feels so <laughs> calm. Like, yeah. The last time I came to the hospital, I was like, down. What does it look like? Nothing. I'm having one. I know it. Well, it's there's nothing on the screen. They have to print oh. it. Oh my god. I just another good fact they're gonna get strong. How you doing? I think it's done. About to get admitted? I am admitted. Well, yeah. But yeah, we're waiting for our room now. Ooh, they're picking up. Okay, so we have an update of M3. 80% of base and negative two. So, I wanted to hear farther, but I mean, that's pretty good for not knowing I was even having contractions. But now I know, like I'm feeling the contractions. Mm -hmm. So, I don't even know how far apart they are, really. I kind of am not paying attention to that. A couple minutes? Well, let's look. It's 528. We'll check the next one. Bye. So, yeah, we're still in triage. And what helps me with the contractions is when someone can tell me, like, where I'm at with it. So I know, and it's not on a screen, it's on like a paper. So I'm gonna have time to look at them and kind of just like tell them what they look like. But they're really picking up and I'm, I'm sure I'm not like much more dilated or anything, but it hurts. And here's another one. So here, Tommy.
going away. I think I'm having him soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm freaking out. I don't have him in triage. I'm telling you, like, I feel like I have to push. I know. So. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get all our people in here, so it's a safe. We're good to go. Hey, baby. Baby looks great, okay? Oh, 
buddy. All right, well, I just wanted to tell you I'm okay. I didn't think I was gonna be. <laughs> I did not, that, I mean, that was, I felt like I did not handle it well because it no, was really was, bad. it was quick. It was really, I mean, I the nurse in triage, I thought I was gonna have him in triage. I probably would have if they didn't bring me in here. Oh, look at all that hair. Oh my goodness, you're not even that big. Yeah, he's a tiny bean. I'm so curious. Well, I don't know what we even got on <laughs> on anything because that was insane. I'll have to do like a separate video about it because that was just so crazy. But I'm in the postpartum room now and the baby's actually not with us. He uh, had a low body temp so he's getting, he's in the warmer. I'm, I don't know how long he's been in there. Maybe almost an hour, half hour. Should be close to an hour now. Yeah, they said it should only be an hour, but I don't know. I want him to come back. It feels weird, like having a baby and then not being with you. But um, yeah, that was so insane. I think the last thing I remember Tommy taking a video of was when I had a contraction in triage, and um, we were in triage for a long time, and then they kind of saw like the it was picking up and getting intense so they like rushed us to a room and then once I got in the room that was like the end of it like I could not take the pain anymore it was horrible um and I thought that I had to push him out like right when I got there and they checked me and I was only at a five and I was so disappointed because those contractions were so intense and I felt like pressure like I was like I have to push and I actually was like pushing when the contractions were happening not like trying to my body was just doing it and then I think like she said like 20 to 30 minutes later um I went from a 5 to a 10 and I told her like I'm pushing like he's right there and she checked and his head was there and then he came out in three pushes so it was super crazy we didn't have I haven't even unpacked my hospital bag and get to use anything that I packed in there for labor like my fan like anything Tommy didn't even really get to get any footage of anything that I wanted because it was just so fast paced and so intense and yeah, so I guess I just have quick labors because the girls were just like this, but he's perfect and I can't wait to get him back, but um, Tommy's going to get us food. I think when the baby gets back here, he'll go get us something from the cafeteria. I'm pretty hungry. No, we can maybe one do DoorDash. I'm just joking. I just have bad memories. We can just order food. We're buying a lot of. We're in a college like area. Used to walk like every Let's just order food. Why don't you go ask them how the well, how you do that? He's wearing my star mask because for some reason they can't spare. <laughs> can't spare his surgical mask. Right, no, I know, but maybe you can. Huh? The only way you can get them is if you have an isolation cart in the Oh, there. maybe you can go to your office tomorrow and grab one, or just wear my star yeah, mask. Please. Oh. But this room is like so tiny compared. We're one of the best hospitals. Yeah, they took really good care of me. They were really awesome. I was a little annoyed I was in triage for so long. But they're really booked with. Like, they took me out of my postpartum or my labor room like pretty fast within and the, the hour. And the resident went. Yeah, yeah. Who delivered the babies? They were out like as soon as they stitched me up. Um, yeah, so it's busy here. I, I'm glad I didn't get induced for many reasons, but also because I don't even know if I would have been able to if they're this busy. Um, so, but yeah, he was almost born in triage. Like literally, if they would have waited 30 more minutes, which they probably were going to, if I didn't progress like that. Um, so. Anyway, that's that. He's here. I wish I could show you him, but he's at the warmer, so. Um, I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm going to see if we can DoorDash some food or Uber Eats or whatever. Look at these bags. But he was born at 8, 22, and we got to the hospital, I think, at like 4, 4.30. So, that was really quick. Yeah. He was only 7 pounds, by the way. 7, 2, 9, which they told me he was going to be 10. All of it was just so crazy. I'm just absolutely mind blown. I just kept looking at Tommy like when 
when I pushed him out, I grabbed him. They let me grab him. Did you remember doing that? I grabbed yeah. him. I didn't realize that, like, I pulled, I didn't pull him out all the way, but they let me, oh, like, pull him to my chest. And I felt his head, because I didn't believe them. They were like, that's his head. And I was like, no, like, there's no way. Um, I thought I was going to be pushing for a while, too, but anyway. What? No, camera. All right, well, that's our birth vlog, I guess. Well, that's our birth vlog. I think maybe I'll start a new vlog, like a newborn hospital video or something. Or maybe I'll show you him. Maybe Tommy got some footage of the baby. Of me first seeing him, right? But not pushing. Uh, you have to watch those videos. I try to get... I mean, I think I got a good amount of stuff. Okay. Oh, you just wanna be with you till we grow old.